Greetings guys and welcome to another episode of my life experiences. Where is Zinyanewa Sosola here, your host? Thank you so much guys for being with me in this year of 2021 as we are drawing to the close of this year. I just want to bring to your attention that I intend to make this uh, episode the last one in the year 2021. I'll come again with a bang in the year 2022. And um, I'm just thankful to you guys for all those views, just the knowledge that somebody is going to watch, somebody is going to comment, just all those likes. Some of you encouraged me on Facebook, some of you encouraged me on WhatsApp, even on YouTube. I'm just so thankful to you guys because of being with me throughout. Yeah, I just want to also to express my gratitude to the Most High God. Um, he's a God of the uh, highs, he's a God of the lows, he's a God of the ups, he's a God of the downs, he's a God of the hills, he's a God of the valleys. All those experiences that he entrusted me with, I'm just saying thank you God. Just the thought that the most high God has entrusted me to go through these particular experiences. It's such an honor and it's so humbling, I'm so humbled God. Thank you, may your name be all the glory, may your name be all the honor. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, so one of the experiences that life threw at me in this year, last month in November, my son became very sick with a high fever. I took him to the clinic. We are treated as outpatients. When we came back, after a few hours, the fever persisted and it became very high, 41 degrees Celsius. It's a very dangerous uh, temperature for a child. We rushed back to the clinic. They told us that you can't go back home. We have to admit you, so we were hospitalized. They changed our antibiotics. We stayed in the hospital one, two days, three days, four days. Days kept going, but my son's high fever was not improving. I started losing hope. The last drug that they gave him, they said this one is the last one on the lines of antibiotics because they changed his antibiotics three times, but the fever did not improve. Then they also gave him malaria drug. The fever still did not go away. He was merely surviving on um, painkillers and also I was doing some sponging on his face and his entire body. Yeah, so I was losing hope actually, guys, and you know, there's no such feeling as painful as looking your, at your child in pain, looking at your child is sick and you are helpless as a mother, you can't do anything. There's no such feeling as painful as that. It pierces to the heart and it's so painful. And during this time, I kept hearing a prompting in my heart saying to me that a still small voice saying, Wesley, get back on your knees. Wesley, get back on your knees get back on your knees, get back on your knees. Then I started asking God that, God, what do you mean get back on your knees? Do you mean I don't pray enough? Do you mean I'm not praying? I've been praying, in fact, so every day. What do you mean get back on your knees? But that still small voice, the prompting, prompt, prompt, prompting still kept coming, saying, get back on your knees. At that point, I was so overwhelmed with his sorrow, I just knelt down, prostrate before God, I knelt, I started crying, I started praying loudly to the point that maybe people passing through the corridors of the room were listening and hearing it. I prayed that God, this is the child that you gave me as a, to be a steward over, he's your child, may you heal him, he's so young. He needs to go back home. May you heal him. And I was crying and my nose was running. And my son actually said to me that, Mom, you are sweating. So it was, I was almost sweating with this prayer, just pouring my heart and humbling myself before God. And I'm also thankful for the people of God who stood up with me. Um, my, my Busa, my pastor's wife, also prayed with me. People from my church in the home cell also prayed with me. After a couple of days, my son got better and we were discharged from the hospital. So what am I trying to say now, guys, is that God sometimes uses situations in our lives and circumstances just to capture our attention. Because I was saying that God, maybe I was cruising too much. 
Maybe I was rushing to the point that I wasn't paying attention to the finer details. I wasn't paying attention to my relationship with you. But God told me, captured my attention through this sickness. And he told me ways, get back on your knees, get back on your knees. I don't know what situation you are passing through. God captured my attention through the sickness of my son. But what experience are you going through? Maybe God is trying to capture your attention as well. And to me, he was just saying, get back on your knees. Whatever God is saying to you, he again to that still small voice that is coming to you. If he is saying, get back to your knees, just go ahead, kneel down, humble yourself, pour yourself down on the road, and you pray to him. Because for me, I was saying that after I did this, I said, when was the last time really I laid posted before God? When was the last time I cried like this? When was the last time I had my nose running, tears all over, pouring my heart to the Lord? When was the last time? So God just captured my attention, guys. So whatever your experience you're going through, just know that some experiences, we go through them because God just wants to capture our attention. Hear again to that still small voice and humble yourself and do what God is instructing you to do. I'm going to read James chapter 4 verse 6. It is saying that, but he gives, great, more, he gives more grace, therefore he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Listen to the call. Listen to that still small voice. If he's saying kneel down, get back to your knees, just get back to your knees and do as big what God is instructing you to do. Because he resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Thank you guys for being with me. This is what I wanted to share with, with you guys uh, as we are closing the year 2021. See you again in 2022. I'm wishing you all the best uh, in this festive season during the Christmas time and the New Year time. All the prayers to you. May God bless you. May God protect you. If you are traveling, traveling message to you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also to like this channel. Thank you so much, guys. Stay blessed. Oh,